football manager? What's going on here, guys? Well, I'm kind of bored of FIFA, <laughs> as you guys already know. And I've wanted to do kind of a mini series on FM for a little while. And I thought this is a really good time to do this. So we've got Arsenal. We've got the latest squads. So all of the latest transfers as of Monday, today, including Havertz, for example, they're all done. I've got the latest Premier League um, teams. So we've got Sheffield United. You know, we've got all the promoted and relegated sides. Um, they're in their correct leagues. But of course, I don't have, you know, Declan Rice. I don't have Timber. I don't have anyone else. And I thought this is actually just going to be a bit of fun. I'm just going to literally just sit here and play FM with you guys. Minimal editing. I've even put the green screen on so you can see more of the screen. And it's just, just going to be super chill. I don't want this to be um, anything more than just a bit of fun, really. Um, I should say, disclaimer, I'm not the best at FM. I've played it, I would say, maybe 400 hours over the last 10 years or so. I think last year's game and a few years before that when I was streaming a lot, I put quite a lot of time into those games. But otherwise, every year or so, I maybe put in 30, 40, because it hasn't really been a game that's grabbed me. Like, it's fun. I enjoy it for what it is. But after a season or two, I'm kind of dumb. So you're not going to see anything groundbreaking here. It is basically going to be me, a football manager rookie, playing with my favorite team and making some bad decisions the other thing is as well, you'll probably notice I've got this pencil thing. Uh, a lot of people won't like that. Um, the reason I've got the in-game editor is so I could make some easy, quick changes to make this as realistic as possible and to skip some of the boring stuff, to be honest with you guys. Uh, for example, there's a few players that I really would loan out um, and I've just done it. I've just loaned them out so we don't have to feature it in this video, um, but I won't be using it to cheat put it that way i'm not i'm not going to be boosting stats and adding positions and no it, it's just there if i needed it to, to make the series a bit more efficient i guess um so don't worry i'm not i'm not going to be using it uh what's the other thing i was going to say um i think that might be it actually I don't, I don't know where i'm going to go with this it might just be like a five part series so i'm hoping that when you click on this video you've just got a nice bit of time to sit back and just chill. This ain't going to be quick FIFA action, that's for sure. Um, let me just bring you up to date on where I am with the squad. I've literally just started this career mode about an hour ago, and I've gone through a few things. I've done a few shirt numbers, like Saliba's number two now. Um, I've built a tactical style, as they call it. I've done my tactics. Uh, I've made it very Arteta, Arsenal style. And of course, I've gone through the entire squad and I've got a list of players that I'm not really interested in keeping. As I've said, I've loaned out a few players. So, for example, Trusty, Norton, Cuffey and Marquinhos, I've just loaned them out and I thought I wouldn't bother showing you guys. So, Trusty, I've actually loaned back to Birmingham. Um, Norton, Cuffey, I've loaned to Sheffield United. I thought a promoted side would be really good for him. And uh, Marquinhos, I've given to Burnley for the season just because that's kind of what I would do, um, but nothing really exciting. I, I could have spent 10, 15 minutes of one of these videos just loaning out these three players, and I thought, I'm not going to do that. Uh, Tavares, I'm looking to sell. Patino, I'm looking to sell. I don't really want to, but I know he wants to go in real life. He he's not interested in staying at Arsenal anymore, and I'm fine with that. If, if a player doesn't want to be here, cool. Um, we'll, we'll have someone else come in for him, so he'll leave. And Pepe as well, I think I'm probably going to let him go. I've also got to decide between Enketia and Balogun. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep them both. Part of me thinks that Enketia is the preferred choice in real life for Arteta. But you've got to wonder, is Balogun's ceiling higher? Is he actually going to perform at a higher level and more quickly as well? Don't forget, Enketia is, what, 23, 24? Oh, I've remembered the thing I was going to say. Um, the date, just add a year. <laughs> um, I didn't want to sim a whole season just to get to the new season because then loads of changes would have happened to the teams and we're, we're a year ahead of what it actually says. Okay. It's the 4th of July, 2023. That's, I had to make that very clear. There wasn't a database out there that I could find that had the squads right now, but a year later in the game. So just ignore the year. It, it doesn't really matter. So once I've decided on striker, uh, we've got Kai Havertz, Nelson, we're going to give him a new deal. 
Trossard, Smithrow, Vieira, Laconga. I don't know yet. Jorginho, El Nenny, Tomiyasu, Tierney, Kivior, Holding, and Turner. Those are my kind of backup bench players. And you can see the first team here. It's very, very strong. However, not finished. I do want to bring in Declan Rice. He's going to be the marquee signing that I'm going to make. I'm going to try and get him for around the 100 million mark. We'll see if that's possible. Granit Xhaka might leave, but I'm hearing reports that he might actually stay. And I kind of want him to now. He had such a good season last year, so... I wouldn't be bothered if he stayed another year at all. But if him leaving frees up a bit more cash flow, uh, I'm also hearing reports that Arsenal aren't even done after Rice and Timber. It could be that we're going to sign more. <laughs> so uh, maybe I'll throw someone in there myself. But just, again, bit of fun. I'm not an expert. I'm not going to be doing the crazy detailed stuff that maybe you'll see from your typical FM creators that you might watch. This is a career mode guy playing FM. And I haven't played in quite a long time. The last time I played this FM was actually before Christmas when I got my new laptop. I installed it on there and played that for a bit. I actually did a Sunderland career mode. But um, let's just get into it. I think one of the things I've mentioned already is I want to give Nelson a new contract. So he's tied down until what is now in real life. But of course, we're a year behind. So we are going to go ahead and discuss a new contract with his agent. Let's see. Delighted to hear that you're keen on keeping him. Between 45 and 58k. That's not bad. We'll just agree with that. So I've asked his agent what we could be looking at roughly. Um, I, I, I think we just do it. It shouldn't be too difficult. He's got a lot of pros um, and he's a, a long serving member of the club. I don't think he's going to be particularly groundbreaking in his career but I think for now it's definitely worth keeping him so he's gonna be a fringe player which will then eventually be squad player regular starter I'm gonna get rid of regular starter not really interested in that in terms of being a squad player yeah I don't think that's too bad we want this to start immediately let's suggest it okay he's happy with that we'll finalize those promises right so right now He's on 40k. It's respectable, but I think he deserves to go up to at least kind of 45, maybe a bit more. So we're going we're gonna to try that. I'm going to bring down this loyalty bonus to 1.5. The agent, I mean, you could just get lost, mate. Uh, 250k, a five-year deal, really happy with that. And we're going to just try and tweak these appearance fees and assist bonuses and, and stuff like that just a little bit. I like to round these up a little bit. And I'm going to try and not get this yearly wage rise. We're going to exclude this. Am I happy with this deal? Mm, I might bring down the unused sub fee because he's going to be on the bench a lot. Let's do 7.5 for that. Okay. He's going to be a bit more expensive than I'd like. I'm willing to come up on the contract to 50. I'll keep the 2 mil. Agent, you can have 300. Let's do 15, 7.5. Let's do 7.5 again. I think that's fair enough. Hmm. Okay. We can still do this. 55, 300. I'm actually going to do it again. 7.5. <laughs> I want to just say this is it now, but... Okay, we're good. 55 grand per week. It's 15,000 more. Slightly more expensive, and of course the loyalty bonus is there, but we'll finalise that deal, and hopefully Reese Nelson will sign on. Let's decide between Enketia and Balogun. Let's compare them. Compare with Arsenal and then Balogun. So, in terms of value, well really we should look at age first. So we've got Balogun 21, Enketia 23. That has a huge impact uh, in my decision making here because although I'm not going to be doing this series for a long long time it's value it's obviously retaining a, a player that might be better in the future it's just the right thing to do looking at the comparison here Nketiah is a better final product at the moment but it, that's the thing he's, he's not a final product he's, he's a better player at the moment but it's not by much he's one better at attacking one better at technical one better in mental He's definitely a little bit better physically, which I actually disagree with. I think Balogun's going to be 
um, a bit more of a, a physical player than Nketi. Although Nketi has been in the gym, you can see that. Uh, Speed-wise, very similar. Oh, Balogun's better at defending. Okay, I should keep him for that. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it's difficult, really. I'm looking at the wage, and I'm thinking we can free up some nice wages if we were to let Nketia go. 75 grand per week compared to Balogun on 30. I mean, I could keep both. It's not like I need to sell one of them. Okay, maybe we'll come back to it. Uh, I'm happy with this squad for now, but I'm tempted to add maybe Lokonga into a, a deal, maybe Timber. So if I go into my scouting and then my shortlist, as of right now, I've, had, I've added Declan Rice and, of course, Timber. Um, let's ask the agent. We're very keen on signing Declan Rice. It looks like it's going to be between 78 and 100 million. He's going to have a big wage, star player. He will want a minimum release clause as well. Um, hmm, I could ask him just to take more money instead of wanting more incentives and promises and things like that. But the thing is, I'm, I'm more than happy to make him a star player. He's worth that wage. He's worth that price. I don't like minimum fee uh, release clauses, so I might try and remove that. We'll go ahead and be positive with that. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to uh, declare interest as top target. So that is going to put it in the press. I have seen, though, he's wanted by Liverpool. Oof, we might have to be quick. Timber, between 31 and 46 million. So again, we're going to ask the agent um between 31 and 47 okay we've had a bit a bit more information here not a bad wage wants to be a star player preferred position is central defender oh i want to play him as a right back if anything um okay that's difficult i might just end this chat <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to ask anything more or give him any anything more Extremely interested in joining, incredibly interested. Which one's better? Extremely or incredibly? They're both pretty good. Is there any other players that I want? Probably not right now, at least not in this episode. Maybe you guys could get your comments down below and let me know if there's anything that you think I should be doing. But uh, I, I think that the safe thing to do here is just go for Declan Rice. Uh, I have given myself a budget of £175 million. So I've taken a chunk out for Havertz. Um, and that money is literally for rice and timber, roughly. But of course, we might have to make some player sales just to get these deals across the line. So let's go to Declan Rice here. Actually, no, 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 no. What we're going to do is we're going to get Saka to promote club to top target. Promote club to top target via press. What is that? That is the wrong wording, right? Surely it's promote top target. Oh well, Declan Rice. I'm going to put my arm around him. We're interested in Rice. Could you have a word with the press? Sure. I don't see why not. <laughs> Fellow Englishman and star boy Saka. He's going to go to the press and say Rice would be a great fit. And maybe Rice will see it and he'll ask to leave West Ham and we'll be able to get him cheaper. <laughs> right. Um, I've got a load of things to go through here. We've already added. Uh, we've already offered Reese Nelson a new contract. Um, okay, I'm going to leave that for now. So, believe to be ready to discuss terms with a deal that could be worth 83 million. Okay, I'm going to decline to talk about it in the press right now. But there we are, Saka. Rice must make Arsenal switch. <laughs> 83 million would be a bargain, by the way. Absolute bargain. I'm really cautious that Liverpool are going to make a move. So we do need to be careful. Benfica have come in for Nuno Tavares. This is a non-negotiable offer. So it's going to be initially 12 million and it could rise to 14.75. It's not much, is it? But at this point, I think he's probably worth just getting rid of. How much did we buy Tavares for? I'm pretty sure it's around this mark, even less, actually. Um, so it's three 12-monthly installments of 1.8 million. 
After 50 games, we'll get 2.9. I'm not really feeling that, to be honest. I'm going to reject this one. Don't show that message again. Uh, we've got a staff meeting. Okay, so intensive course to learn English. That's fine. We can skip to the meeting summary here. Okay, nothing too crazy going on right now. We're very early early stages, all right? Yeah, I thought this might happen. Um, let's discuss with Tavares. He's furious. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with I want more money. He's content. Okay, I want an asking price. I mean, I kind of want 20, but I'll, I'll be... I'll be generous here. We'll go to 18.5 million. All right. Cool. Let's see if that is something that can happen. Um, we've got a friendly coming up. I have made it so I don't have to deal with the friendlies. So you guys don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm happy with the code of conduct. So they're asking me to put Havertz up front, Jesus on the right and Jorginho in the middle. I don't think I'm going to go with that if I'm honest. I'll go through the tactics in a moment. Liverpool have made a Patino offer. 6.5 rising to 12. Hello? Patino is an extremely exciting young player and there's no way I'm letting him go to a rival. No, thank you. Um, in terms of... what What's it called? Um... I've delegated responsibilities. I've done quite a lot um, where I've asked my assistant manager to deal with things or my director of football or whatever. So I'm not doing everything. So it's not too crazy. So you're going to see emails like this, just, you know, new contracts for staff members, whatever. So team leaders, Granit Xhaka, Erdegaard, of course. Uh, and then we've got some highly influential players. To be fair, I, I can't remember the last time an Arsenal squad had this many leaders. It is very, very exciting. No injuries as well, by the way. Fantastic news. I'm going to introduce myself to the squad. I didn't see that. Right. Introduce myself. Right. What do we do here? I don't really want to make any big promises. Um, let's do our expectations. Ah, oh, mm. Okay. Maybe I should have done some promises. Um, win the title. Oof title challenge yes oh come on quite a few are happy with that but <laughs> come on now at least try to be realistic uh we should be looking to qualify for the europa league no okay i'm confident I'm, oh <laughs> this is not going well i am confident we can fight for the title uh I respect it. Latter stages. Okay. So they think we're going to do better in the Champions League? Really? Okay. Win the FA Cup. FA Cup final. Oh, really? Too ambitious from Pepe. I don't care what you think. You're going. And Patino, you're going as well. I don't care. Disagree. I'm happy. Code of conduct is good. Cool. Nicely done. So, Trossard wasn't happy with my expectations in the league. <laughs> he's a, he's only been here six months. Guy needs to chill. I don't think that went too bad. It, it looked worse than it was. Okay. Financial fair, pay, fair play, all of that stuff. Right. So, do we make an offer for Timber? Hmm. Do we just make offers for both? I'm going to start with Declan Rice. I wanted to potentially wait to see if maybe he could request a transfer and it would bring the price down. But actually, I kind of want to pay what we're paying in real life because that's kind of what this mini series is about. So what I'm going to do is a little bit less than I'd want to because obviously <laughs> Arsenal have not made one offer and it got accepted. There's been multiple offers. So I'm going to put in 90 and I'm going to put in an instalment. And I think I will make this 5 million. So we're putting in a bid of 95. I think that's pretty good. 
we'll just make the offer. I'm not going to suggest it and just see what they say. In terms of getting timber, I'm going to try... I think 35 is a, a pretty good start here. Just make the offer there. And we'll just see what they say, because that's what FM is all about. You just have to wait and be a bit more patient. Can't do everything in one go. I never get... I've never understood that about FIFA and career mode. Like, you, 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 you make an offer for a player and you meet their manager, right? And then on the same day... You could be meeting up with the player and the agent. Imagine if you've had to travel halfway across the world as if you're getting those meetings done in one day. <laughs> right, scouting stuff. I'm not going to be going into that too much, I don't think. Uh, Newcastle and Man City would very much like to sign Patino. Reject all offers. I want him going outside the, uh, the Premier League, if I'm honest. Right, we're going to auto in... Uh, select and include youth prospects. So they're going to go on to a... Oh, God. A tramp. A tramp. A training camp squad. <laughs> right, Patino. I don't want you going to a Premier League side. Um, this is it. I think this is unfair. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. He's not happy. Patino, oh, it's very realistic. He doesn't want to play at Arsenal anymore. He wants game time. Right, they've rejected my bid. Right. Could you tell me how much you would like? Clearly not. Let's go with, again, installments, 12 monthly, two years, an extra five on top. Do you know what? I think it, it's it's a decent amount of money to offer, 40, considering his value is 31 to 47. Suggest terms. What? Sorry, can we, can we just get this right? A transfer value of 31 to 47... And they're asking for 134. What is that? That is absolutely ridiculous. There's, there's no way. I can't justify that at all. We'll go down to 40 up front and 10. <laughs> um, another reason why I've got this pencil, guys, because I'm going to sign Timber, but I'm not going to do it for that money. For the sake of the series, I will keep trying here. But that is absolutely ridiculous. He's clearly going very cheap in real life, which is obviously a great thing. I can't match it in real life. I'm going to offer 65 and they want 109. Ajax, are you dumb? I can't believe that. I genuinely cannot believe that. I don't want to talk about transfers. Arteta is great at this. It's always the same answer. I'm not going to talk about players that aren't at the club. And it shuts down everything. I love that. Right. Can we see anything on the Rice deal yet? We've won 5-0 in the uh, friendly against Leicester. Martinelli, Jesus, Martinelli, Balogun, Martinelli, Hattrick. Wow. Absolutely killed it. Can we get anything back from West Ham? Oh! Okay, right. Hang on. We've got contract offer accepted from Rhys Nelson. The chance of more playing time is a considerable factor. Yeah, of course it is. Um, Arsenal's Rice offer has been accepted. I'm very, very surprised that got accepted straight away. It's funny because the Timber deal, clearly, it's way more expensive than I thought. And the Rice one seems to be quite a lot cheaper. I thought it'd be like 120, something like that. Um, I'm really not happy with this. I don't want to include a release clause, but star player, you can't get better than that. Maybe I can do... Uh, hmm. I don't want to do preferred position and role because if I'm keeping Partey, I'm probably going to play Rice in that Xhaka role and get him a little bit more further forward up the pitch. Uh... I could make him vice-captain. I quite like that. 
Ooh, okay, he's accepted that. The recommendation, by the way, is sign Rice as a priority. Potential ability, almost five stars. He's, he's extremely good, obviously. But this is where it's going to get very expensive. So I believe, um, was it 300k? Oh, it doesn't say it there. I think we had 300k a week extra. Something like that at the moment. So this is going to take a considerable chunk. Um, what's he on at the moment? Oh, <laughs> he's getting a big pay rise. I'm going to bring the wage down to 140 at the start. Bring down the signing on fee to six. And the agent fee, of course, there is a maximum allowance there. I'm not looking to pay more than a million, if I'm honest. It is extortionate, isn't it? If we win the Champions League, mate, you can have 750. FA Cup, you can have 500. I'm trying to sweeten these so he'll take less up front. Appearance fee, let's put that to 35. Clean sheets, huge, um, especially if he's playing in that DM role. So I'll bump that up. And I mean, I'm never going to use him as a sub. So let's just bump this up quite a chunk. Sell on fee percentage exclude. Oof. Christ, that is a lot. Okay. Um, I can do 1.7. Let's just bring this down a teeny bit. 1.5. Appearance fee, I'm just going to put that onto 40. Nice! That's easy! That is genuinely easy. I maybe could have done even better there. 180k per week. You know, it's slightly higher than the estimated. But do you know what? It's Declan Rice. This is like a, a marquee signing. This is what is going to change the season for us. It's going to cost pretty much half my entire budget, but that's fine. I'm, I'm kind of ignoring the budget because that's not what this series is about. I want to know, with these players coming in, can I win the title? So we'll exit talks. Hopefully that goes through. And um, Reese Nelson should sign as well. And then we just try and get Timber. So we've got a loan approach for Pepe. Um, you can have Pepe. I don't really want to sell into United, but if they're willing to part cash, 15 mil. I mean, that's his... <laughs> that's his transfer value, and they've just said, yeah, all right. 15 million is still a very good price for a player that's still very decent, but... I was expecting them to say, no, 10. I'm just going to accept that. Loan approach for Flores. That's fine. Lewis Skelly with a pre-contract deal. Havertz is injured just for a couple of days. Okay, we're good. Oh, what a shame. Patino as well. Such a shame. I, I had a lot of hope for Patino coming through and basically taking Granite Xhaka's role eventually. And now it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Um, recruitment meeting. I don't. I don't need to. Uh, let me go through my tactics before we end this first episode. Um, I only wanted them to be kind of half an hour each. Um, so at the moment, we're playing with a positive mentality. And what I've done is I've I found some very successful kind of 4-3-3 tactics, and I've built mine around it. Um, but of course, with an Arsenal edge to it. So playing out of defense being the most important thing. Fairly wide width, kind of in the middle there. Shorter passing, directness, um, slightly higher tempo, which is, of course, going to increase the intensity, which means potentially more injuries. But hey, it's Arsenal uh, and be more expressive. It's not about being disciplined. I want that expressive football. I want I want my players to feel like they can kind of do what they want. And then in transition, we've got counter press and counter. So it's all about pushing up the pitch. Um, where was it? Uh, I think it might be out of possession. Yeah, the prevent short goalkeeper passing, basically. Um, distribute to my defence. Again, just focusing the play out to my defenders and then forward. And that's why I think Arteta wants Timber. It's why we signed Zinchenko. They're very good at that. Uh, and take short kicks as well. Just nothing long. Out of possession, though, I think this was the most important thing for me. So the trigger press much more often. Again, building into that intensity a little bit, though. Prevent the short goalkeeper distribution. So as soon as their goalkeeper has it, we're pushing up. We don't want him to be able to pass it out. Get stuck in. I'm not bothered about staying on feet. We want players to just get right in there. High intensity. 
Uh, and I feel like that's going to work quite well. Uh, as in, uh, for the individual players' positions, it's a very attacking side. Um, we've got a deep lying forward. I think that's what DLF is, right? Yeah, deep lying forward attack. Inside forwards, because obviously Martinelli and Saka play with their strong foot on the inside. Um, Erdegaard is, of course, going to be joining the attack. I want him here, if anything. And I've got Xhaka playing box-to-box -box support. And, of course, Partey is going to be defensive midfielder and defensive. He's going to sit back and, and break up play. Zinchenko and White with the wing-back support and then ball-playing defenders on defensive with G Gabriel and Saliba. And the beauty is anyone on the bench here can come in and do a job. The only downside right now, and I guess this is a thing for real life as well, is, is how is Havertz going to get into this team? You know, yes, he could play on that right side. If Saka's tired, he could play through the middle. He could potentially play in another cam roll. I could make this another cam roll, but then I think defensively we're going to be a little bit weak. So for now, I'm not 100% sure, but um, what a player to have. I'm so glad that we've actually got him. It's expensive, but um, he's 24. He's going into the best period of his life, footballing-wise. Hopefully Arteta will get the best out of him. But uh, as for the first episode, I think that's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into some games. Um, I do have a skin which allows me to get instant results. So although I'm going to play some games, I'm obviously not going to play them all. Um, and I think maybe we'll just do five parts Monday to Friday this week, just uh, see how we get on. So maybe in the next episode, we'll get a couple of months done, finish the window, of course, try and get Timber and Rice confirmed, get Reese Nelson signed up as well. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the relaxed, chilled vibe. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for part two.